Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today we are going to be doing some easy Bible journaling in 2 Thessalonians. So, I thought I would use a new product today. So, I have not used, it, used these before. I actually won these in a giveaway quite a few months ago, and I've used them. I've used them in one card that I made for somebody's birthday. I think it was birthday. It could have been Mother's Day. <laughs> Maybe Mother's Day. But I don't know if I've actually used these in Bible journaling or not. Um, I feel like that might have been one, actually, now that I come to think of it. But we're going to be using actually a couple different things today. So I'm going to be using Distressed Crayons, which that page could have been dist Distressed Crayons. Um, if I'm wrong, then. <laughs> but I'm going to be using Distressed Crayons. Uh, oops, that's not a Distressed distress Crayon. Boy, I can't talk. Distressed Crayon. Uh, let's see what colors we want to use, though, today. I'm thinking I want to use a little bit of a darker palette maybe. So maybe the teal blue, the green, and maybe the pink. I think that's a fun palette. So I'm going to use those colors. And then I'm also going to be using my Fabricastel paper stencils, which I love these. They are the best. Um, I lost my other set though. I have all three sets of these and I can't find the other one. So if you know where it is, let me know because <laughs> I think I lost them. Okay, so, and then I have my Distress Ink, which I'll be using as well, um, possibly in one of the similar colors, or maybe I'll use like a purple or an orange. Ooh, orange might be fun. All right, but I'm using my very small, uh, it's, it's the NIV Journal of the Word Bible, and it is the only the New Testament. I really wish this came in the Old Testament as well, because I just love this size. It is so small, so compact. You get an entire blank page in between. Um, you do have text on the back, so just make sure you're careful with what media you use so it doesn't bleed through, or if it does, it just leaves like a shadowing. But I'm going to be going ahead and having fun with this. So um, I'm actually gonna have a piece of paper. I actually use this for another video. <laughs> but we're gonna be using it for journaling as well, since I use this for something else. All right, so I'll go ahead and put this back in there. Oops, make sure. No pages in between each page. There we go. Forgive the writing on the back of that paper, but all right. So um, this one just kind of hit hit me. Second uh, Thessalonians um, chapter one. I'm gonna go ahead and say a quick prayer though before we get started. Dear Lord, thank you for your encouragement each day, Lord God. I just pray, Lord God, that whatever we're going through, Lord, I just pray, Lord God, that you will help us through it, Lord God. And I just pray for healing for us, Lord God, in your name, Lord, and just thank you for being with us each and every day, Lord God. And even though we struggle sometimes with anxiety or stress or just being tired, Lord God, uh, you you understand, Lord, and you know that we're human, Lord God. And I just pray, Lord God, that you help alleviate those fears and the, that anxiety from each and every one of us, Lord God. And just help us to be comforted and be at peace, Lord God, in your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so as I was saying... Um, this is a really good prayer right here. And because like in the Bible a lot, it talks about praying for those who who need who need Jesus as their savior and stuff. But, and see, boy, I'm having a hard time talking today. <laughs> praying for people who need Jesus as their savior. But I like this one because it's talking about praying for others that are already in the Christian faith but need encouragement to stay in their faith. And so it says, We ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, and rightly so, because your faith is growing more and more, and the, and the love all of you have for one another is increasing. Therefore, among God's churches, we boast about your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and trials you are enduring. All this is evidence that God's judgment is right, and as a result, you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you and give relief to you who are troubled and to us as well. So that just is so powerful. Like, it's just like people who are Christians, we still need prayers too. Like, like people who don't have Jesus, yes, absolutely pray for them as well. But as Christians, we also need prayer to just stay strong in our faith. And I feel like that's really saying, you know, as, you know, as our faith grows, you know, we need more strength to persevere through through trials and through struggles. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this back here. I'm not sure what verse I'm gonna actually put on here or what words I'm gonna put on here, but let's go ahead and just have fun and get started. So I'm actually gonna use my colors first. And I think I normally start with like, maybe I'll just start with the darker color. And I'm just using my fingers for this because I feel like with distressed crayons, you have to work pretty quickly uh, with them. Like once you add them on, you should really like try to blend them in as quickly as possible because they kind of like, don't blend as well if you don't rub it in pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub some color in. And your finger rubs it in pretty well, so. Also make sure you hold down your paper as you're doing this because yeah, I just bent my paper a little bit. So just be careful when you're doing this. I probably did use Distress Crayons on my channel. I'm guessing I probably did at some point. <laughs> but it's just fun to just, you know, I mean, there's only so many products out there, right? So you gotta like try to do your best and use, use, what, use what you have at home. So I do use other stuff as well. Like I use stuff that you might have around the house. Like I've used plastic wrap and I've used a whole bunch of different stuff that, um, that you can just use around the house and it's lots of fun. It really is. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little extra color at the top there. Probably should have added a little extra. There we go. All right, so maybe I'll put some here. I believe also you can use these with baby wipes. I don't know if I've tried that yet or not, but I just kind of like to just um, add color here and there and just add it as like a little extra touch of color to my page. I'm going to use some green now. You can even like blend the colors if you want to do like green mixed in with the blue a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and add to the colors here. I want to use a different finger than what I use for the blue. And I feel like other colors, it's weird, but other colors blend a lot easier. Like this green, look how easy this green is blending. Well, not that certain one, because we did that one first, but, but this green color, it blends so much easier. I don't know what it is about that blue, but the blue just, just doesn't blend as best, as good as the other colors. But yeah, see this one, this one stayed on a little bit longer, so it was a little bit harder to blend, but... As long as you're pretty quick. I have heard actually that, which I forget, I forgot to try um, to use, I think it's gesso, clear gesso first and let that dry and then add your color and it blends a lot easier. And I totally forgot about that actually. We'll have to try that in another video to see if it actually works. Um, but yeah, that might be actually a fun video to try too. So we'll have to try that at some point as well. So I want to get a little bit of a color on the edge there. But yeah, this is just kind of a fun and easy way to get a little messy and a little bit of fun going on. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of the pink. A little bit of pink going that way. I want some pink going this way. Maybe some pink over here. Okay, so my colors are, or my fingers are already getting colored a little bit there. Yeah, see, I'm, I use my finger with the green and I kind of put a little bit of green with the pink there. Not much, but a little bit. I'm also like still learning as I go. So like, it's kind of fun to see somebody who's still learning as well with you all. Like we learn from our mistakes, we learn and we, we kind of learn as we go. So I'm learning, you know, and I, I think I will next time I do um, Distressed Crayons, I'm gonna try the technique with gesso because I do have gesso somewhere. I think it's on my cart there, but I'm gonna try to do that as well at some point. So. I could go ahead and color the rest of the gaps as well. Um, I don't know, maybe I will. 
So I'm gonna add a little bit of pink in here. I probably won't do a ton of color. I'll probably leave a little bit of a gap in between of in between all the colors. So I think that's good enough. So yeah, so I really do think these blend better if you have like a a medium underneath to kind of protect your page as well. Um, there shouldn't be really any bleed through. Yeah, there's no bleed through at all. So I actually need this page back though, because we're gonna go ahead and use a stencil. Okay, so we're done with this. It's just kind of a fun little colorful background, a little bit of an abstract background. So I wanna pick a stencil that's kind of abstract looking. That's actually kind of cool. I like that one actually, that might be the winner. Uh, let's see, I have leaves. Leaves would be kind of cool. Ooh, leaves are kind of cool. Oh, no, I don't know what I want now. Nah, ooh, that, nah, I'm not sure if I want that one or not. There's some triangles, which are kind of cool. A lot of these I have not used yet. These are mostly all new to me because I usually have used my other set, which my other set I like basically used. They're not falling apart yet, but <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't yet because I've used that one very often let's see okay i think i'm gonna go ahead and stick with one of the first ones that i saw here i actually like that one too for the leaves okay let's see which one holler at me in the comments which one do you think i should use <laughs> i do like the leaves i do like kind of this like kind of fun geo geographic one and i also like that one too but i think yeah i've used this one before i have not used this one before so yeah i haven't i don't think i'm gonna use that one because i've used the other two before I always love to use like all of my stencils at some point. So I have my applicator here and let's see what color do I want, do I want to use? I'm thinking I want to go with something bright and fun. I'm thinking I might go as bold as like a ripe persimmon just to like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be like really bright, but I don't care. I'm going to have fun with it. Even if it looks terrible, we, we at least tried it, right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and place this down. I don't know exactly where I want to have the stencil, but we shall see. Oh, the, wow, that's a very bright orange. <laughs> that is so bright. I figured I could go into the gaps and color in those white spaces, you know, and we'll still have the color pop up. So I'm only going to go ahead and color kind of the blank areas a little bit and have a little bit of the color pop through the stencil. Oops it's kind of going to blend in a little bit with that pink which you know what it's going to change the color it's okay so the pink might not look actually pink anymore but that's okay but we're going to go ahead and just color in those spaces that are kind of blank and white Ooh, okay i actually really surprisingly really like that okay so i'm going to go ahead and move this down so i can get those last little spaces of white down there because i want to just color in those white gaps a little bit. Add in some color. It's actually, you know what? I'm actually really happy with that. Adding this stencil in, I felt like was a very, very smart move. I'm gonna add a little bit up there and a little bit over here. Yeah, I felt like this color is like really just popping there. Now, what you can do with Distress Ink is you can actually put Distress Ink over your page and it won't bleed through. I honestly, or not bleed through, but I mean like cover up your words. Like it'll just leave a color. So, but I think we're just gonna leave it this way. But I really like the way this page turned out. Adding the stencils was a very smart choice. So let's go ahead and add in just our wording. I was thinking about adding like a sticker or something, but I think this is really cool the way it is. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there. So the color I chose was Ripe Persimmon. I will try to link down everything that I use down below in the description box so you can find it easily. All right, so let's see. I don't know what wording do I want to put. I think I kind of want to do, let's see. Hmm. I don't know, let's see. I did see the wording of how it says, um, you'll be counted worthy of the kingdom of God. So I think I'm going to put, I think I'll put that actually. Let's 
so worthy. I should have put my word a little bit farther to the <laughs> to the left there. That's okay. Worthy of the kingdom of God. This is like my favorite pen too for writing. If you're new to my channel, I absolutely love this pen. I mean, I don't really use anything else for writing. I absolutely love it. Love it. Um, it's definitely better for, for Bibles like this um, because it is a smaller pen surface compared to like a bigger brush pen. But this is the Tombow Fudanusuki brush pen and I love it. You can find it at Joann's and wait for a coupon and they're like a really good price. So I really love these pens. And they're also like, I feel like these are easier to do handwriting with rather than an actual brush pen, which is like a longer tip. I don't have one to show you right at the moment, but it's a lot easier. I don't even use brush pens that much unless I have like a big space to draw or write. All right, so we got I did do my F weirdly. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh, well. I didn't realize I did that. And I'm going to remember to actually put the date on here because I tend to forget that. And I'm also a lefty, but I like my handwriting with my right hand for some reason, at least for hand lettering. So it is June 28th, and this is actually the day that you'll be seeing it, so that's nice. There we go. I really like that. So I feel like I'm going to do a lot of backgrounds like that, I feel like. So I love the mixture of the Distress Crayons and the, and the stencils. I feel like that was a good choice. And really bold choice for the bright, ripe persimmon color, but like, I don't know, I feel like that worked. So yeah, so... You can definitely see my pen shadow through, but it didn't bleed through. And you can see a little bit of the Distress Ink. But as you can see, you can read the back of this. So I absolutely love this Bible so much. I've done so much in this Bible, stickers and Distress Ink and everything. And yeah, and acrylic paint, just pretty much everything you can imagine. I love this Bible so much. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I also wanted to say on this video because I keep forgetting apparently and I don't want to because I do appreciate each and every one of you who watch and comment on my videos. But thank you to everyone because a I think about a month, a month or so ago, I reached 2000 subscribers on my channel. So just wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who supported my channel for the past three years. Wow. It's been three years already since May, <laughs> but I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you again for subscribing and I will see you all next week.